Okay, so today's vlog um, is not exactly going to be the easiest conversation for me to have as you're noticing in the title, so uh, I'm just going to do my best to try to explain this because I've tried dozens and dozens and dozens of times to make this vlog in the last four years and I feel like every single time I make this vlog I get too anxious to think about this stuff because this really did happen to me um, and I don't want to cry because it's just a lot to take in so I'm just going to do my best to explain it um, so if you guys didn't know before I was a former rock band vocalist, former competitive rock band vocalist for three years. Um, before that, I was just playing Rock Band 2, and then Rock Band 3 came out. I met the Rock Band We community, and some of those people from that, to this, from that community to this very day, I'm still talking to. But um, again, a lot of what I'm going through, I don't want you guys to think that this is all Rock Band people or just every single person who plays rock band, not everyone is like this, okay? These were just my experiences that I went through. Um, and I don't want to repeat those mistakes that I made um, because I want to grow. And the only way I could grow for this is by talking about the issues I went through with rock band. So yeah, four, it's been four years since I've retired and to just really like think about what this game did to me mentally is just painful. It, like it doesn't seem like it's painful, but it was, it was painful to me. Um, and I'll explain the four major reasons why I quit rock band. Um, the first one was putting the leaderboards, uh, next to where the song was. I didn't think about this in Rock Band 2. To go to the leaderboards, you had to go, I think, out to the main menu and then I think like extras to go find the song and then the leaderboards. I didn't obviously do this in Rock Band 2. I never thought about it. I was just playing, you know, just to play. It didn't matter if I was getting gold stars or 100% or full... Co None of that mattered to me. I was just playing to play. Um, but putting the leaderboards right next to where the song is uh kind of changed the whole dynamic of rock band for me because my first instinct was to get competitive because i saw those leaderboards right there and therefore um always wanting to be first like to be the top 10 scores all the time every time every song every week and obviously when you're doing this so much um, yeah, it wears you down because I, I joined the team and it's just like, I think at that point I, I was just trying to recapture what it made me love rock band and it was slowly failing. And by March, 2012, I just didn't want to play anymore. I was growing a fatigue with the game. I, I pretty much did everything I wanted to do in rock band. Um, and I didn't get to stop because I remember I came up to a couple of people. I remember talking to them on Skype and I remember their first reaction when I brought up quitting rock band was that they immediately shunned me. They immediately shunned me for even processing the thought of leaving the game that brought everyone together despite that I was not having fun and that's going to lead to the last issue. Um, so the more I started to play rock band, the more I started to hate it because I could tell I wasn't having fun anymore. It was an engine that where people were doing like vibrato and overdrive and manipulating and the cheating of like the, the no fail and the full, but like there was just so many things that devalued what vocals was to me. Vocals was about singing Okay, I didn't care about, I didn't care if someone got a full combo. Like, you don't, it doesn't even matter to me if you even play on easy or even get a full combo at all. I'd rather hear you sing than watch another generic rock band video where it's literally just the game of a full combo. I'm, I was so sick of that because, like, I put three hours into my rock band videos. 
like vocals and a lot of these songs were not easy to sing I, and that's another thing that bothered me people always used to say oh it's so easy to full combo not easy to sing them that's why the tears were justified for most most cases not all of them but most cases but yeah the engine after a while i just began to hate it didn't feel like rock band anymore it started to separate the instruments and people were just kind of like doing things for their own agenda whenever i played with full bands people would only pick metal songs so i'd have to sit there and do nothing while everyone else is like having fun which is like at that point why play full band with me or like things like that just didn't really showcase that i was wanting to play with people um and that brings up to the last thing of why I quit the rock band, the community. I was getting tired of a community that didn't care about people. You know, I didn't like I I didn't feel like I was valued. I felt like I was valued as a rock band player. It didn't even matter if I was a vocalist, didn't matter if I was an expert vocalist, didn't matter if I was a good expert vocalist. Just the fact that I existed as a rock band player like I like I had come out of a conveyor belt where they like make a mold of people and everyone looks the same. People want that mold. They don't want anything different. And that's basically what being in that community felt like to me. I felt like I was so different from everyone that they all wanted to just keep it about rock band. And I lived a year and a half of mental health issues because of rock band where I started to have panic attacks um, every day. I had meltdowns. I was getting anxiety every day. Living, living my life every day in constant fear because every day was about rock band. Every single day. I would wake up on Facebook and it was about rock band. Twitter was about rock band. Twitch, YouTube, Skype. Everywhere I went, it was always about the game. And if people weren't talking about the game, they had to bring it back to the game. Anytime I tried to initiate any other conversations, people would bring it right back to the game. And they never, they never initiated. Um, and I think it was just that. People just wanted players. They just, it didn't matter if it was skillful or not. But it's like to be a vocalist in a game where guitar and drums and bass are favored more and even keys... Um, and there's very few vocalists to this day um, that are still singing. Like, you're still hearing them, like, their videos on stream. Like, there's still very few singers now to this day, me being one of the few. Um, but I follow any vocalist who does sing because I like to, you know, it, 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 I do like to hear your voice. Um, but it's just... Like, going going into Rock Band 3, it basically killed everything I loved about Rock Band. It ruined everything in my life. It ruined my mental health. I thought I was gaining friendships, but I really wasn't. I wasn't gaining any of this. All I was gaining was experience of playing a game. It didn't matter, like, any of this stuff. That's not to say, like I said, this doesn't speak for everyone. These were just the experiences I went through. There are still people I know who play rock band um, and some people who quit rock band too, but I'm still close friends with them and still long lasting friendships. But it's like most of, most of the community just wasn't like that. And I started to feel like, well, what's the point in me? It, because I, I always want to do everything different. And it was actually rock band. That was basically my wake up call because I learned to value my friendships big time. And I also learned that I kept going through this repeated, uh, you know, pattern where I would join a community and then I would be different from everyone else. I felt out of place and then I would leave the community. I would join one and leave and join one and leave. I would do this so many times that I never stayed consistent in one community enough. And I think that's kind of what led me when I was doing streaming to make my own community consisting of different gamers because of that. I didn't want to exclude anyone out of their passions. So to just really go through Rock Band um, to like 
think about all the mental health damage it's done to me. Um, and I, I'm trying to recover. I'm slowly starting to try to recover from this. I've been playing Rock Band 2 off stream, off, like on my own time, free time, for fun. And I remembered how much fun I had in Rock Band. I remembered what made it enjoyable for me. I was just singing to have fun. It was about the singing. It wasn't about billions of overdrive. It was about singing. And that's kind of what I also went, again, what I also went through about Just Dance. I felt like, you know, if I didn't talk about Just Dance or post videos all the time, people wouldn't care what I do. And I didn't want to make those same mistakes because I do, I've met, met a lot of people and made friends with people in Just Dance community and I respect them enough and they respect me enough to let me do the freedom of creative control. I didn't get that through Rock Band, sadly. Um, and so to recover from this steps, it, it might take me a very long time. It might take me years to do it, but I feel like now bringing this up, I can finally overcome that boundary that I've, I've held so long in place. And that's why later today will be a rock band video. It doesn't mean like rock band videos are coming back. It just, it means now I can do rock band again without the anxiety I was getting before. So it's, it's a lot to take in. So thank you guys for watching. I know this is not the most lively vlog and I apologize, but I, I just really something I had to like try to discuss once and for all. And again, I know I already know the, the consequence of what I'm doing right now, making this vlog, but I'm sticking to my guns. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong for standing out. I'm not wrong for the things I'm doing. I still stand out. I still try to do things to stand out. I encourage people to stand out all the time. Don't ever feel like you are limited to what you do. You can do so much more. Remember that. I'll see you guys next week.